what are the, the drivers they are making use of in this campaign to uh, convince people not to shit in the open and to use the toilet? Discuss this a major thing, yeah? yeah? Blaming, exposing people's bad behaviors, right? No pressure. Spreading information or um, uh, make, uh, coming to a consensus in the, in the village, right? That we need to change this. Group north in the school, so they, they agree that our school should be clean. These are the main uh, behavioral drivers they're making use of in, uh, in CLTS, and as you can say, some of them are quite negative in nature, right? They're quite, uh, they're putting pressure on people, each other, they are exposing people's education behaviors, right? Very upfront. They're using disgust and also uh, fear. Uh, of, of this disease, right? Because they actually make them aware of how dangerous it is when you're shitting everywhere. You are actually creating disease in your own village. So these are kind of the, the motivational behaviors behind this. These are very, very potential drivers and they can really trigger, it's one of the methods they're using, trigger this community action that, oh, this is so disgusting, we need to do something together, but it can also run wild into some blaming and the scapegoating and stuff like that. So you really need to follow up on this triggering process with something that is very constructive. As you saw, they have this preparation phase, and they have this triggering phase, and then they have a follow-up phase. And what they do in the follow-up phase, and what is also very specifically special about this approach, is that they don't give out any subsidies, they don't give them any building materials. They Instead, they plan together with them how to uh, build their own low-cost, simple toilets. And they provide all kinds of encouragement, like prizes to open defecation-free villages. Uh, and they support leaders, natural leaders, people that emerge in this process as somebody who's really willing to, to make a difference and change defecation behaviors. Uh, what is very different in this CLTS approach from any other sanitation promotion program is that it uses these negative motivational factors and there's no subsidies and no hardware and uh, they don't uh, and but they and they also allow people to to build toilets in any way they want uh, so they don't give them like some specific technologies which is also the critique of CLTS is that uh, it's very very effective in increasing the numbers of cheap latrines very fast but whether those types of simple latrines are actually sustainable and uh, design-wise, um, I mean, manageable, it's really uh, questionable. There are some big evaluations coming out now and it's not, it doesn't look too good. Some of, many of these latrines will be broken down the year after if you don't manage to follow up and to, to move people up the sanitation ladder. Have you heard about that? Sanitation. So if you don't manage to bring people's steps up and, and improve the technologies stepwise, then you might end up with a, an open defecation village again. Okay. That was a, a, an example of a community-based participatory <coughs> approach. Now we move on to a social marketing approach. Again, I'm going to show you a video. This is uh, something called the Easy Latrine. It's, uh, it's an Asian uh, development uh, uh, enterprise uh, called IDE that has um, launched this uh, tree and it's, uh, and it's a very big program now and this is from Cambodia. <laughs> 